How are we going? Here we go. You got him? Get him up, Tom. There we go, guys. Here we go, buddy. Woo! That is my very first. What is that, American Red Snapper, right? Yep. American Red Snapper, 260 feet. Very first drop. Woo! That is what it's all about. That fish is gonna be delicious. All right, guys, well, we just got to the flay table and we've got our beautiful red grouper here. We're gonna go ahead and flay this joker out. So, red grouper is delicious when um, you can cook this in so many different ways. But the simplest way is just pan fried. It's amazing. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of that pan fried grouper. Now they say you could actually take this piece of meat right here out on really big fish. You can take this cheek meat out. Now whether he's big enough or not, that's in a whole different story. And I'm gonna show you guys when we get to Oklahoma, we catch some big old fish. That cheek meat right there, that cheek meat right there is some of the best meat you can actually get. I, I love cheap meat, so. Right there, guys, beautiful filet grouper. Take the pin bones out right here. And that is a beautiful filet. Take that belly meat off. All right, let's get that bagged up. Birds are waiting for every, any single piece of fish to fall so they can pick it up. Linda, what do you want to cook with this? How do you want to cook this grouper for us? No idea. Mm, beautiful. That is some weighty fish right there, guys. That is a heavy fish. That is a big fish. That was my very first fish. He set the tone for the whole trip. This fish right here did. where you touch that fish on the gill plate. It is sharp.
Yeah, they are. What's up, buddy? This guy looks like he's been waiting patiently for like a piece to drop on the floor accidentally. However, yeah, they ask us not to feed the birds. So, I think what I want to do, this fish has a giant collar on it too. Something that people don't know about. My buddy Danny, who was my neighbor for a while. You guys saw one of my earlier videos with him. He told me about this. Um, so what I'm gonna do. Cut through that, that spine. Somewhere. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna throw this away. But we're actually going to keep the jaw of this fish because right here is a bunch of delicious meat. It's a pain in the butt to get it, uh, to take the collarbone out. So I'm going to do it here. And we're going to cook the collar of the snapper. Okay, so what you guys don't normally see from people when flaying fish is them take this big chunk of meat off right here. That is all meat right there. And we're gonna cook this and it's gonna fall right off that bone. That's a piece of meat that most people will not cook. We're keeping it. All right, let's finish these fillets here. Man, that is a big fillet. That will feed Team Tate for one meal. Because <laughs> we get, our four kids will devour this. They love fish. All right, guys, well, we've got all our fish flayed. Now the only thing we need to do is cook it. So we're gonna just fast forward out of the keys. We're gonna get back to the house and we're gonna cook some grouper and some snapper. We'll see you in the kitchen, here we go. I would put it to 400. 400, that's pretty quick. Oh, 
All right. All right, so we've already salt and peppered it. And now I want to put a little bit of the obey on it. This is that collar meat from the, the red snapper. One of them. Oh, there's a little bit of cheap, cheap meat too. Ginger. Hold on. I gotta wash my hands. Oh, that's a lot of ginger. You gonna rub that in too? I guess. Not about to. I'm gonna rub it on you, all your fingers. I sure just left it. Oven for about 20 minutes at 400, and this is what it looks like. Put it on the plate. Oh, you gotta spray it. The nonstick. So, it's stuck. Put this up. Mm -hmm. Careful with it. Be careful with it. I think it's gonna have to be two, two pieces. Why? You just want one piece, Dad? Push them both on, on the plate. Lift the fin up, you're just tearing the fin up. You're tearing it up. No, I'm not. Okay. Ooh, that looks so juicy. I'll grab that piece of meat right there. Alright, grab a fork. Take a piece off of it, honey. Good is spicy, but not too spicy. I like it. I like this one better than that one. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching Tim Tate Outdoors, and we will see you on our next adventure. Hey, guys, make sure to stay tuned for next week's video in the Potomac River where my dad catches big fish, and that was before I was ever born.